Hey guys, I am back from my week-long trip to Punta de Mita, Mexico. Lincoln Heritage took the top agents and agency managers across the country for an all-expenses paid trip, food and beverage included, parties to the nines. It was a dream. They also just announced that the next trip, which is April of 2025, will be in Rome, Italy. It is not too late to join and try and qualify. You have all of 2024 to bring in the numbers and join me on a trip to Italy. I cannot wait. So I thought as my welcoming back gift to you, I would share my team training this morning where we spent an hour on role-playing objection handling in the first 30 seconds. I also have a lot of individualized feedback in there for people that um, have some things that they should work on. Maybe you need to work on those things too. You should never stop practicing objection handling in the first 30 seconds because without this skill, you won't even have the opportunity to have conversations. And conversations is key in selling policies. So I hope you enjoy. Someone tell me why constant rinse and repeat of mastering the first 30 seconds is the most critical component of this job. Because you're almost always going to have an objection. It's just a given. And the quicker that you just have it in your mind that it's it's like natural, like you do it in your sleep. That's the, like the quickest way of being able to just start the conversation because without even thinking it, they're going to say no. It's almost a given. So it's our responsibility to be able to like, okay, I'm aware you're going to say that. So let's get it out of the way. Good. Who else wants to contribute to that? Because the more first 30 seconds you get to, the more opportunity you're going to have. 100%. And that's the whole key is opportunity. I want to read you a email that I got yesterday from someone who was not able to join this team because they're outside of my territory. So they ended up joining a different company that also offers free leads at a reduced commission. And this person wrote, I only got three calls today. What would you suggest when you ask an inbound prospect what drew their attention to the inbound call? Because all three of mine were inquiring on $100,000 for $35 a month. And both our final expense carriers only take, take bank drafts or sales script unqualified leads onward $2 an hour averaged over the past month with blank company. So pretty eye-opening when you think about what other people are going through at different organizations, three, three total opportunities for the day. That's a pretty significant difference. That's a huge company that this person was referring to. Um, so we may have a lot of opportunity and a lot of what you may consider as bad opportunity, but opportunity is, is, is the whole key. It's the whole game for uh, outbound, inbound life insurance leads. And getting sales resistance and objections is 100% your job description. Doesn't matter if it's the best quality lead on the planet. I have a whole YouTube video about this. They do not want you to call them, right? They want to get everything online. They want to get it in the mail. They don't want to be sold. And so our job is to create conversations to give ourselves more opportunity with the volume of people we have a chance to speak with. So I thought that was pretty shocking when I read that. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to pull up first 30 seconds objections and I'll share my screen. So we're all looking at the same thing and we're just going to role play today. Today is about role playing and kind of getting the marbles out. So that way, when you get on the phones, you've already practiced, right? You've already rehearsed. And how we're going to do this is, can everybody see each other on the screen? Everyone can see their names. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick someone that someone is going to be 
um, my customer. So I'll be the first agent. Right. One of you will be my first customer. After I'm done, you as the customer will pick someone else in this room to be the agent. And it's just going to keep going in a cycle um, for the whole hour. So we're just going to go really quick and you're going to pick whatever objection you want on this list. Okay, so we have, I don't remember, I don't have time, I'm not interested, I saw an ad, uh, or you know they, they're saying that they want some significant amount of coverage. I already have it, I already took care of it, I just want the price. Can you just send me something by email? I can't afford it. Okay, so these are the most common objections you're going to get. Before we start, I thought this was brilliant and I can't give credit to who said it because I can't remember. So maybe one of you have also heard this before, but I was watching a podcast or listening to a podcast and this sales leader said his goal every single day was to get 20 no's in a row, 20 no's in a row. And if at no 12, you know, and then at 13, he got a yes, like he got an opportunity to engage or sell the 20 started over. You have to start back to one. And so it forces you to keep going until you get that 20 no's in a row. And eventually it gets interrupted and you have to start over. And so it's like this game you play with yourself, this like mind trick you pay, you play with yourself to try to get as many no's as in a row as possible. And eventually he just, you know, every three, four, he would get a yes because he was so good at the repetition. Now, I don't know what would be appropriate for us. I feel like 20 is a good place to start. Um, but if I was on the phones right now, that's that's such a good strategy, like take doing that tally, how many no's, 20 no's in a row. And then if it if you if it intercepts, it starts over. I think that's great. Kind of like breaks it up. That's why when and he compared it to like marathons or, you know, half marathons when people are running, that's why they have like these markers, these little benchmarks throughout. So you're like, okay, I'm doing the first three miles. It's not like I'm doing all 26 miles. So if you break it up, eventually, you know, your whole day, you've, you've put in that time because you've broken it up into chunks of 20. So take that for what you will, but I thought that was genius. All right. So here's our objections. I'm going to start with the person that's just right underneath me. So I see Francisco Mendez. Yes, ma'am. Francisco, you're going to be my customer. I'm going to be the agent. You could just pick an objection here. And then when we're done, you're going to pick who's ever below you to be uh, our agent. Okay. Yeah. You want me to just sound off with the, let me know when to start or um, sound off. Just let me know when you're ready. Did I say I was going to be the agent? Yeah. And then you're going to be the agent. Okay, perfect. So, um, no, so I start. Hi, Francisco. Hello. Yes. Who's this? Yeah, this is just Dana calling. And I noticed you may have requested information to possibly look at some protection for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I get I got a, I get a lot of calls about this. I just went online and did it, but I mean, we already took care of that. Oh, good. That's not a problem. How long ago did you get it? Um, you know, like maybe uh, about two weeks ago. Perfect. Well, while I have you on the phone, would it be reasonable to offer you one more quote just to make sure you got the best policy available? I think we're okay with what we got. You know, we 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 you know we went to uh, Mutual of Omaha. You know, we, we're pretty good with what we got there. Oh, good. Okay, let's pause really quick. So. I don't mind doing multiple objections, but for this okay, exercise, keep it okay. yeah, for this exercise, because that's going to take too long if we all do multiple objections for the group, I just want you feeling, I just want everyone feeling really comfortable with responding to the one objection. That's what we're doing today. So okay, um, that from the record. Yeah, you will. We, we, we have had previous trainings and we will continue to do other trainings where we do multiple objections, like where we'll do two, three in a row. Um, and you will get that, but the, but 
What I want you to focus on more is that if you always say this to the, I already took care of it, you should be able to engage in a conversation 30 to 40% of the time. Okay. Right. That's the whole goal. Okay. So, um, Francisco, you are now the agent, pick someone to be your customer. All right. Let me see. I got Colton. All righty. All right. So you kick it off, Francisco. Hello, Colton. Uh, yeah, this is Colton. Who's this? Hey, hello, Colton. My name is Francisco. I'm a licensed agent. Uh, Colton, the reason on my call is that I uh, notice you. Pause. Why do we never want to say I'm a licensed agent in an outbound call object, an outbound call script? I'll just hang up. But why? What's the reason? Why? Trigger sales resistance. Why? Because you're trying to sell them something. Keep going. Go deeper. Why? What's specifically why does it cause sales resistance? Because you immediately just identified yourself as a salesperson. So that wall immediately goes up right then and there. Thank you, Cody. You're so welcome. the only time we say we're a licensed agent is when we get a transfer call. Right. So if I go to the script. Um, yeah, I'm using the outbound call option too. The thing is that I just kind of add that into. Well, I don't kind of. I do. Um, I'll add that. It's just, it's just my honesty, you know. It's just, but yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I, but you're not being dishonest by by not saying it at that point. It's what we're trying to do is create more opportunity for you to have conversations. And by you labeling yourself as a salesperson in the first five seconds, you will get hung up on. Right. We want to just ease our way into this. Right. We're not even on a first date yet. We just called to introduce ourselves and we have major walls up. So if I already know you're a salesperson because you've just said, hi, I'm here to sell you something. I'm a licensed agent. Right. Then it's it's going to be way higher. Rather, the, the psychology behind it is I'm a friend. Right. This is just Dana calling. And I noticed. Right. You recently request. So there, you're not. You're not being dishonest, right? I want to make sure you know that. It's just, it's the psychology of the intro to help you get more opportunity. So um, try that again. I'm glad we're doing this because anything that you add or modify or change could have a significant impact on your results. Okay. All right. All right. Let me Hello, Colton. Objection. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, here we go. All right. Go ahead. Hello, Colton. Yeah. Colton, hi, this is a Francisco. Colton, I'm calling because I noticed you were recently inquired to possibly look at some covers for near your family. Oh, I, just I had to take care of that. Thanks, though. Okay, yeah, I just... It, okay, that's not a problem. How long ago did you take care of that? Uh, You know, it was about a month ago, something like that. We're, okay, we're good, well, though. Okay, well, Colton, while I have you on the on the phone, would it be reasonable to just offer you one more quote? Just you know, just to be sure that we're what you were offered is is the best policy available. Uh, we're gonna say yes when we get through the objections. Okay. 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 okay, we're not doing multiple objections. So that was good because I know I screwed you up in the beginning with your outbound, but but all the hesitation in the response is also going to cause hangups. So. That's a good learning lesson for you. All right, Colton, you are the agent. Pick a customer. All right. Um, Cody? Yes, sir. All right. Hi, Cody. Yeah, this is him. Hi, this is Colton Colin. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. No, I didn't do that. Okay, no problem. Um, I guess, oh, shoot, I messed it up. That's okay. Didn't, didn't Why don't do you start, start over? <laughs> I do it too. Okay. So that would be like the I don't remember. The yes. First. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll start Maybe from again. the top. Hi, Cody. Hello. Hi, this is just Colton calling. And I noticed you inquired recently to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Nope, wasn't me. Okay. Um, that's not uncommon. Um, it looks like you may have clicked something online with one of our partners just about possibly protecting your family from out-of-pocket funeral expenses. Does that ring a bell at all? Yeah, I guess so. 
Sure, sure. So just out of curiosity, what caused you to start looking for some protection for you and your family in the first place? Good job. With a little, um, with a little bit more um, memorization, you sound very smooth. Cody, you're pick a customer. Uh, Forrest. All right. Forrest. Hello, Forrest. Forrest Gump. Yes. Hi, Forrest. This is just Cody Bitzer calling. Um, I had noticed that you had uh, recently placed an inquiry online into potentially looking at some coverage either for yourself or maybe for family. Um, have you been getting a lot of phone calls here recently from different insurers? Uh, yeah, we already took care of that, though. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. And if you don't mind me asking, you know, how long ago were you actually were able to take care of that? Oh, just like last week. Oh, okay. Excellent. And while we're on the phone, do you think it would be reasonable potentially just to give you one more quote and make sure you're offered the very best policy that's available in the area? Uh, possibly. Why not? Perfect. So what I really love about what Cody did before I, before I share what Cody did, does anyone know what Cody did that I really like? Let's just make sure everyone's paying attention. His tonality and his interest. He made it his own, but stuck to the script. Go a little deeper, a little deeper. You're, you're both right, but that's not what I'm looking for. He went past, he said um, that he, the caller had said that he was already, he already took care of that. And Cody just totally went right over that. It was like, he didn't stop there. Is that what you're talking about? Did it, was anybody watching Cody while he was doing it? Yeah, he looks great. He looks happy. What about yeah. Cody's um, mannerisms? <clears throat> Engaged. So he had it so memorized. He gesticulating. He wasn't reading it. So, well, yeah, all of that was right. All Everything you said is correct. But My what body I, language is going along with what I was saying. Is... <laughs> He, it's almost like there was actually somebody in front of him. You know, he, when he has the curious tone, you can see it in his face, right? He's using hand gestures, which I'm sure you do when you're on the phone. Oh, yeah. You're not just doing it here because we're on Zoom. I use hand gestures all the time. I That's have a so curious funny. face and everything, you know, when, when you can make it your whole character your whole being and it's not just words that you're saying it actually sounds the way that you're intending it to say so that was very good cody um forest you are the agent pick a customer all right uh does hi hey <laughs> you kick it off forest oh i do yeah you're the oh, agent so I, I, oh, okay well, usually she says like hello or something, right? So but you're, right. Right. you're not right. remember, we don't hear them even oh, say Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Just, hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hi Des. This is just not day one. Calling. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Hi Des. This is just Forrest calling. I was just giving you a call because I noticed they may have inquired to possibly Who's look this? at some coverage. Who's yeah. this? Yeah, this is Forrest calling. And calling from where? Like, yeah, just calling from uh, Lincoln Heritage. Did you did you request uh, some life insurance coverage? No, no, no. And I don't have time. I don't have time to go over this. Oh, that's not a problem. Uh, do you have just a couple minutes right now, just to see if what we can do uh, can do can even help? Uh, what do you want to do though? What is this? What are you selling? What do you need? Yeah, so it looks like you inquired about some coverage options, and I just wanted to see if I could maybe help out. Okay, what kind of coverage? Yeah, so I represent Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company. And All right, let's pause. Des was hard. Yeah, Des, they was do, they, they've done that, that to me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold on. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, but I, I love how he didn't panic, like I panic. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest, when you, when you respond to someone that's kind of aggressive like that, the number one thing that you want to always remember to do, scripted or unscripted, is respond and end with a question. Respond, end with a question. That's how you try and gain some of the control back. If you just answer it with a period, they're still in control. 
So that's a really good rule of thumb. Who is this? What is this about? Oh yeah, I, I would. I don't even say the name of the company at that point. Where are you from? Yeah, I was calling. I just say what they're calling about again. Just calling because it looks like you may have clicked something online with one of our partners about possibly protecting your family. Does that you know ring a bell from out of pocket funeral expenses? Um, does that ring a bell? That's why I end that question. And then um, you, you may not always have something to go to on here, but the formula to try to gain control back if someone's pointing with questions is respond and then end with another question. Have to. It's really, really critical. When you say respond, it's kind of like how I was say, how I was asking a question. You respond to that and then go back to. You have to end with a question. End with a question. Okay. You have to end it with a question so that you get the control back. If you end it with just your response, you've lost. They hang up on me. Yeah. They hung up on me. You have to end with the question. All right. Good. Desiree, you're the agent. Pick a customer. Tammy. Hello, Tammy. Hello. Hey, Tammy. This is just Desiree calling. I noticed you're recently looking into possibly oh, getting pause, 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 Desiree. Uh -huh. You are Speedy Gonzalez. I want you to okay. slow down just a little bit can barely understand what you're saying. And I know what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Start over. Hello, Tammy. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Tammy. This, Hi, Tammy. This is just Desiree calling. And I noticed you're recently looking into possibly getting coverage for you and your family. Hmm. Back to see if I can help. Oh, gosh. I, I don't remember. Oh, that's not uncommon, Tammy. Um, it usually happens. Uh, it looks like you may have been fired to possibly getting some final expense coverage for you and your family. And it would be to protect your family um, in the event of you passing away. Okay. And questions. Maybe that rings a bell. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, you're um, sweet. I so love Desiree, it. because you're not exactly following what's written for you, uh -huh. everyone to pay attention to what just happened. She got really wordy, right? Yeah. And kind of lost in her sentence and you're going to lose your customers. It's okay. really important to try to follow what's on here because it's short, it gets right to the point, and it ends with a question. Right? It's cut through you the chase. Yeah. On and on and on on your own. People tend to over talk and over oh, yeah. things, and then you don't end with the question and you won't get through. You'll get hung up on. Okay. So this exercise is really important because you guys are hearing what you all sound like when you yeah. deviate and it doesn't go well. Okay. Perfect. Tammy, you're the okay. agent. Pick a customer. Okay, okay Brad. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Brad. Uh, hello. Who's Hi. This? Hi, this is just Tammy calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. I just had a chance to get back to you to, to see if I can help. Oh, uh, no, no, that, that wasn't me. Uh, no, no, no. You, you got oh, the wrong person. Okay, so that that wasn't you. Okay, well, sometimes, you know, we maybe click on something for information. Um, that's not really uncommon. It looks like you may have clicked something online uh, with one of our partners about, you know, possibly protecting your family from out of pocket, pocket funeral expenses. Does that ring a bell, Brad? Oh, yeah, that rings a bell. Okay, perfect. Great. How, how would you transition from that, Tammy? What's the first question you should ask? Colton actually said it when he overcame his objection. Just out of curiosity. Was that, Perfect. was that yeah. it? What, what, what caused you to start looking said. for some protection for you and your family in the first place? Perfect. Great. Um, now, one thing that I did notice in the, in your role play right here is Brad had an opportunity to say that wasn't me. No, 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 no. Like way too many times you have to work on interjecting. So as soon as he said that wasn't me, don't give him the space to say, no, 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 wait for your turn. You mm -hmm. have to interject because he's you're not going to have that much time. So as soon as you hear that, that wasn't me. Oh, that's not uncommon, right? Your turn. You got to keep talking because the longer you let him have his space and tell himself he didn't do it, the higher the chances they're going to hang up. Okay. So interjecting is really important as well as responding and ending with the question, but okay. good, good job. Brad, you're the agent, pick a customer. Francisco. Francisco already went, sorry. Well, 
I, I can only see a few people. Okay, so who hasn't gone? Who wants to volunteer if you can't see a few people? I I'll just go. hit the little arrow down so you can see more faces. Where's the little arrow? Oh, there uh, it is. Yeah. I got you. Oh, let's go with Abel. Perfect. Ring, ring. You just go ahead and start, Brad, because they will have already said hello. Uh, hi, Abel. This is just Brad calling. And I noticed you recently inquired, inquired online to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. Um, I just had a chance here to call you back and see if I could help. Abel? Abel's on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. Oh, I already got it. Oh, you already got it? How long ago did you take care of that? Uh, last week. Last week? Well, great. Okay, well, since I've got you on the phone, would it make sense to give you another quote here to see if you've got the best policy available? Sure. Okay, great. And, well, well we got you here. Could I ask uh, what got you interested in uh, looking at insurance in the first place? Oh, you know, starting to get older, so I thought it was time. Uh, All right, you and pause. Me both, my friend. Okay, we don't want to keep going. Um, right. But just some quick feedback for you, um, Brad, is I just want to make sure that when you're doing the outbound calls and so, and, and you do get that pop-up on your screen, that you're, you're allowing the person to respond to their name. Oh, okay. In the exercise, what you just did right now, I don't know if it was indicative to what you did or if you just did it here, but when you say, hi, Abel, you need to let Abel respond. Okay. Don't just bulldoze over them. That's like one of my big pet peeves is we want to treat our customers like human beings where everybody else just talks right over them, doesn't give them a chance to respond or engage in the conversation. Um, so make sure that when you say someone's name, you make sure they're there, let them respond, and then it's your turn to talk. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Abel, you're the agent. Pick a customer. Okay, let's go with. Hello, Terry. Yeah, this is Terry here. Hi, this is just Abel calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Yeah, I just need a price, man. I just need a price. Yes, of course you do. I'm not sure if you're aware, but there are like 10 different types of life insurance policies. And without knowing exactly what might need it, what might you need it to take care of, I honestly wouldn't know where to begin. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I didn't realize there were so many different types. Yeah, just out of curiosity, what caused you to start looking for some protection for you and your family in the first place? Yeah, I'm getting getting old, man. Getting old. Good job. Good job. We all? Yeah. So Abel, you are really good at responding to that objection right away. You just got to find your your words. So if you if it doesn't feel right for you the way that I have it written, if it's weird coming out, find a different way to say it. But in the same token, you know, yeah, of course you do. You know, I'm not sure if you're aware. And then describe the multiple policies and you wouldn't even know where to start in a way that comes out of your mouth very easily. Because if that's too wordy for you, if it feels weird, find a different way. Perfect. Thank you, Dana. Responded right away. It was perfect. ABCs, baby. <laughs> All right, Terry, you're up. Go ahead and pick a customer. How about George? Hello, George. Yeah, hi there. Hi, this is just Terry calling. And I noticed you recently inquired possibly looking for some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to see if I could be of any help. Yeah, you know, I don't have time. Yeah, that's not a problem. Do you have a few minutes right now just to see if what we can do can even help? If it even makes sense to schedule a callback? Yeah, just a few minutes though. Okay. And um, just out of curiosity, what caused you to start looking for some protection for you and your family in the first place? Good, just, Terry. That was good. That was very yeah. good. Good job. All right, George. Okay, let me pick somebody. Your partner. How about Brenda? Okay. Okay. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Hi, this is just George calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just uh, had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. I'm not interested. 
Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend. Are you not interested because it might be unaffordable because you may not qualify? Um, I'm just not interested in doing anything right now. Not interested. Okay, so let me give you a response to that because that's really good. So if someone, so now she's kind of admitted that she's she she inquired for the information but doesn't want to do anything right now. So how I would respond to that right away if you guys want to write something down. Oh, that's not a problem, Brenda. It's just my job to get you the information that was requested. And whatever you do with that information is entirely up to you, right? I'm not going to ask you to do anything today. Would that be fair? Something like that, right? So- like, that's not a problem. Like, I'm just here to give you the information that was requested. Whatever you do with that information is entirely up to you. There's no obligation to buy anything from me. Okay. That's some, that's kind of how I respond to that. Would, and then end with a question. Would that be okay? Would that be fair? You know, something like that. You might get multiple objections, right? And multiple objections is something we'll talk about on another call where we do more advanced objection handling. Um, but right now we just got to be really, really comfortable with the, our intro, getting the objection, overcoming the response with very, very little hesitation and, um, just doing that over and over and over and over again. Right. Cause we get more than three opportunities <laughs> total, <laughs> like that email earlier. All right. Perfect. So, um, Brenda pick partner. Okay. Uh, Stephanie. Okay, ready? Right. Okay. Hello, Stephanie. Yes, hi. This is hi, Shane. this is just Brenda calling. I noticed that you had recently inquired to take a look at some coverage for you and your family, and I just had a chance to get back with you and see if I could help. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, uh, but I already took care of that. It's fine. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Um, do you have just a few minutes? Um, actually, I kind of messed that up. Um, I don't, Stephanie, why don't you just say again, I already took uh, that and then Brenda, you can respond. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, thanks for the call Brenda, but I already have it. I took care of that already. Okay. That's not a problem. How long ago did you get it? Um, actually three days ago. Okay. Well, while I have you on the phone, would it be reasonable to offer you one more quote just to make sure you were offered the best policy available? Sure, I'll take other numbers. Uh, fine, I I could just search for just numbers. Okay. Okay. And, and what caused you to start looking for protection for you and your family in the first place? Good. Well, yeah. Um, good. Blah blah. Huh. I'll drop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So uh, that's a good lesson too, right? Always be ready. What's yeah. always be ready? A B R. Uh, with the better <laughs> acronym. <laughs> uh, Dana. Um, Oh, yes. sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt to what you were saying, but I, um, the reason I had actually, I uh, used that one is because, um, in the last few weeks, of course, it's been the one that I, I get the most mm -hmm. and especially being new, it just then becomes like quoting. Right. And then they're just immediately into now I got into the, I just want the price. Right. Sure. So it kind of, and so that's something that I know has thrown me off a tad bit. Like I think Sierra came on the phone the other day and she's like, did you already go through, you know, the health questions and all that? I was like, yeah, basically I was almost about to give her a quote. I'm like, wait, that defeats the purpose. Right. So just. So because we're not going over that this week, um, Sorry, I want you bad. to go to the agent resource center. Do you know how to find that? Or uh, agent yeah, center? I, I'll, I'll be able to. There are to probably it. two videos on there where we, we, I teach you how to take the, I already took care of it objection. Mm -hmm. overcome it and modify the script so that you're still going through the whole process and you're not just shortcutting to the quotes. Okay. So even right. though we're not covering that this week, mm -hmm. you should definitely watch that. So you feel comfortable handling it because it is the most common objection you will get. Yeah. So if you're overcoming it and then you don't know how to handle it, then you're going to yeah. miss those opportunities. A hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. So are you up, Stephanie? I got lost. Um, yeah, I am up yeah, here okay. and I can't find many people. So I will choose. Um, I can pick one Paul. for you. Ashika hasn't Great. gone. I'll have uh, you who? Ashika. Ash okay, sure. That's I can't see anyone. So. <laughs> so her name is, yeah, Ashika. 
Ashika. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, Ashika. I finally see you. I'm sorry. I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, ring, ring. Hi. Hello, this is Ashika. Oh, hi, Ashika. I'm glad I reached you. This is just Stephanie calling. I noticed that you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance right now to get back to you and see if I could help. Oh, I just wanted a price. That's all I was looking for. Oh, of well, that's completely fine. That's uh, of course you do. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but there's about ten different types of life insurance policies, and without knowing exactly what you might need to take care of, I don't even know really where I would start, uh, where I'd begin to speak with you about it. Does that make sense? Does all of them have the same price? Uh, no, there's various prices that are based on multiple different variables. So I. Love to be able to give you more proper information. So do you have some and time right now? Uh, yeah. Do you have some time right now then? Good. Uh, okay, I have a few minutes. Okay, perfect. Cool. perfect. Good. All right, Ashka, pick a partner. Okay, let's go down. Has Tony went? I'm just going. Has Tony went? I'm just looking. No, I haven't. Okay. Hi, Tony. <laughs> How are you? Great. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Tony. This is just Ashka calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage options for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back with you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time. I got to run. Oh, yeah, I understand. That's not a problem. But do you have a few minutes right now just to see if I could even help so to, to, to see if it even makes sense for me to even call you back? Um, okay, I can give you a couple of minutes, but I got to go. Perfect. Now, just out of curiosity, what caused you to start looking for some protection in the first place, uh, Miss Tony? Had a lot of deaths in the family, lots of funerals. Good. Oh, uh, very good. Ashka, I just want to make sure, same thing that I mentioned earlier with Brad, I think. Just make sure when you're saying their name that you're letting them respond. Okay. Perfect. All right, Tony, Thank you're you. up. I think uh, I'll pick some people because I know we're getting low on options. Um, Tony, pick, uh, I'll have you go with Dina. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Dina. Oops. Hi, Dina. Dina, you're on mute. Okay. Hi, this is Dina. Hi, Dina. This is just Tony calling. I noticed that you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you and see maybe I can help out. Uh, I just can't afford to do this right now. Oh, I understand, Dina. But would it help? Uh, we do have um, policies starting out at $15 a month, if that would be helpful. Oh yeah, that that's right. I could afford around fifteen dollars a month, but not more than that. Oh, I understand completely. We are all all on a fixed income, am I correct? Yes. Well, I do have to let you know that I just want to ask you a couple of questions and get just go over a couple of things with you, and then I'll be on my way. Does that sound fair? Okay. Pause. Okay. Pause, pause, pause real quick. Okay, good. So your intro was good. Um, <clears throat> the I'm only very thing- nervous. I don't know why I get nervous. That's okay. <laughs> One thing that I just want to, not, not just encourage Tony, but for everybody on our call right now is um, to, to try to not minimize your value. And when you say things like, I'll be on my way, you're minimizing your value of okay. what you're going to bring. And even though it may seem insignificant, you're already planting the seed that I'm not important, right? And so I would encourage everyone to not say things like that because you're about to you know, create some momentum in your conversation and we provide a tremendous value and we're not going to be right on our way. And so um, okay. just food for thought there, but good job. Thank okay, you. Dina, I'll have you pick... Um, Carrie, are you comfortable going? Yeah, going. no problem. Pick oh, Carrie. Okay. Here? Yeah. Um, ring, ring. Hello, Carrie. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi. Carrie's oh, on? Two Carries. Okay, I'm, uh, I was looking for, I'm sorry, Carrie. We'll have you go next. Oh, yeah. Ring Himmel. I was looking Which at. Carrie? I was looking <laughs> 
at uh, Carrie McAllister. That is me. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, hello, Carrie. Yes, this is Carrie. Hi, this is just Dina calling. Um, I noticed that you recently inquired to possibly getting coverage for you and your family. Keep going. And I just had a chance to get back. Oh, and okay. I just had a chance to get back with you. To see if I could help. Start over. Uh, to see if I could help. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, what it's okay. Saying? Carrie, I'm going to have her start over. Okay. All right, Dina, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Carrie? Yes, this is Carrie. Hi, this is just Dina calling you. I noticed you recently inquired to possibly getting coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back with you. Uh, okay, I'm going to read it now. Um, and I just had a chance to get back with you to see if I could possibly help. Um, could you just email me something? Um, ah, I'm drawing a blank. Um, yeah, are you looking I at my screen? I, I'm trying not to because I thought I had them memorized, but now they have to say oh, it. I'm like, no, no, no. You should always, okay. always have them up on your screen. I, when I'm on the phones, I still have them all up. Okay. okay. I, I always have all of my scripts up. I never not have them up. Okay. And I want to throw them. Okay. So don't okay. make that, don't feel bad about that. That should be like mandatory. No matter how many times you've done it it's always good to have it up because then you won't lose your way. Okay. All right. Um, so Carrie, go uh, ahead and say, can you just email me something? Uh, can you just email me something? Of course I can send you something, but at this point, I'm not sure exactly what to send you yet. It might make more sense if I could just ask you a few questions to figure out what you might be looking for and to make sure I can even help you in the first place. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Good. Um, All right. So okay. um, for you, Dina, just, you don't need to be a perfectionist, right? You just got to be comfortable. That's all. And just, you know, always having it in front of you, it should be like a security blanket it should always be there. All right. Okay. Carrie, I'll have you pick the other Carrie. All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, when you're Hello Carrie. Hi. Hi, uh, this is just Carrie calling, and I noticed that you had recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family, and I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Yeah, I did see that ad, and I do want specifically um, a $250,000 policy. Okay, yeah, and there's definitely ways where that's possible for the right person. I mean, I guess, would it be okay if maybe I asked you a few questions about your situation and what you might be looking for just to see if that would even be appropriate for you? Because some of those policies aren't for everyone. Would that help you? Sure. <laughs> good. That was very good, Carrie. Very natural. Reality <clears throat> was good. Um, you responded right away. No flinching to the 250000 right? The one thing we don't want to say is we don't offer that, or we can't give you that much coverage, or I don't know what that ad is. I don't care what they say. Yeah. There's definitely ways where that's possible for the right person. I guess, would it be okay if I asked you some questions just to see if that would even be appropriate for you? Cause you know, some of those policies aren't for everyone. Do you think that would help? Okay. So very good. Perfect. Um, all right. Other Carrie, uh, who hasn't gone? Okay. Um, Madison. Here you go. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Madison. Okay. Hello, Madison. Yeah. Hi, this is just Carrie calling. I noticed that you recently inquired to possibly take a look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Uh, yeah, you know, I was just looking for the price. I didn't really want to talk to anyone. I just wanted price. Oh, well, that's perfect. Of course you want just a price. I'm not sure if you're aware, but there are like 10 different types of life insurance policies. And without knowing exactly what you might need it to take care of, I honestly wouldn't even know where to begin. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess. Okay. What would you say after that? Just out of curiosity, what started 
um, you to look for some protection for you and your family in the first place. Good. Perfect. Um, all right, Madison. Uh, Alma hasn't gone yet. I'll have you choose Alma. Alma. Okay. Hi, Alma. Yes. Hi. Hi, this is just Madison calling. I noticed that you'd recently inquired, possibly looking at some coverage for you and your family. I'm just now getting a chance to give you a call and see if I could help at all. I don't have time right now. I'm walking out the door. Oh, sure. Hey, I totally get that. That's not an issue. I guess, do you have just maybe a few minutes right now? I can ask you a few questions and see if what we do can even help you. And even if it makes sense for me to call you back later. Yeah, just a few minutes. Great. Thank you. Perfect, Madison. You're like smooth like butter. (laughs) Thank you. All right. I'll have you pick Christina. She hasn't gone yet. Hello, Christina. Yes, this is Christina. Hi, Christina. This is just Alma calling. I noticed you might have possibly uh, inquired to get some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you just to see if I could help. Um, actually, I was hoping you could just email me something. I'm really busy. Um, I'd just love to be able to read your information. Oh, I understand. I understand perfectly. And I can send you something, but at this point, I'm not sure exactly what to send you yet. Um, it might make more sense if I could just ask you a few questions to figure out what you might be looking for and make sure I can even help you in the first place. Would that be okay with you, Christina? All right, let's just take a couple minutes. I'm not feeling well right now. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hope you feel better soon. Now, uh, what's your cost? cost? Good job. Thank you. Very good. All right, Christina. Um, Angela. Angela, are you on with us? Angela. Hi there. Yes. Uh, I'm unfortunately, I'm still driving. (laughs) Oh, sorry. Um, can you be a, uh, can you just be a customer? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Christina. Hi, Angela. Hi. Hi, this is just Christina calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for yourself and your family. I just now had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't really remember that. Well, that's not uncommon, Angela. It looks like what happened is you may have clicked something online with one of our partners about possibly protecting your family uh, and yourself from out of pocket funeral expenses. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, it's vaguely familiar. I think so. Okay, good. Um, Perfect. That was good. I'm one. sorry. This is flu tonality, Dana. <laughs> no, it was fine. I know that you're, uh, that, but um, it was still good, even though you're not feeling well. Angela, do you want me to skip you? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I have okay. a six shift card. No problem. <laughs> so, Thank Paul, you. We'll have Paul go. Paul, um, so let's see. So, Christina, just be Paul's customer since we're skipping Angela. All right. Go ahead, Paul. Hello, Angela. No, Christina. Christina. Hello, Christina. Hello. Hello, Christina. This is just Paul calling. And I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look into some coverage for your family in case something were to happen to you. And I just had a chance to see if I could help. And I show that you're in Las Vegas. Is that correct? That's correct. Well, and you were you looking at this just for yourself or for somebody else as well? You know, I'm just not really interested anymore. Um, thank you for the call, though. Well, well, that's not a problem now. I don't want to assume. So if you don't mind me asking, I know that protecting your loved ones was important to you at one point. Uh, what caused you to why are you no longer uh, interested? Is it because you're you don't think you can afford it anymore or because you don't think you'll qualify? You know, I just have so many other things going on in my life right now. Um, I think I'll I'll circle back in the future when it calms down. Now, when you say it calms down, what do you mean by that exactly? Uh, she just hung up on you. 
<laughs> so, all right. So Paul, you also kind of got a little wordy, like lost with your words when she said that she wasn't interested. So the shorter we can keep our response and the quicker we can get to the point and the higher the chances we'll keep them on the phone. Right. Oh, I'm so, you know, that's, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend. Are you not interested because it might be unaffordable or maybe you can't qualify? I, you know, I just have so much going on right now. I'm just going to, you know, I just not going to do it at this point. Oh, that's not a problem. You know, it's just my job to get you the information that was requested. And what you do with that information is entirely up to you. We don't have to get anything from me today. Would that be okay? Right. Something like that, as opposed to, um, you know, like the open ended. It's really hard to get people to answer open ended questions when you don't have permission to engage. Right. Right. That's a really also a really important thing is you got to save the open ended questions until they're a willing participant. Otherwise, they're just going to hang up on you. You put them in a really uncomfortable position. Um, all right. So did everybody go? Did, does anyone have any questions? I think everybody went. Did anyone not go? And I apologize. If I haven't did. tried. Carla. Okay. Um, Paul, be uh, Carla's customer. Go ahead, Carla. Hello, Paul. I'll be your customer unless he's okay. there. I'm he's there. Good. He's there? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Start over. This is Paul. Yes. Hi, Paul. This is Carla. Just, uh, I've noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Oh, no, no, I, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Are you not interested because uh, you you don't think you qualify or because you think it's not it's not affordable? No, I, I'm just good. I, I've got that taken care of. What would you say? Uh, I don't know. Here, let me share my screen. Sorry. I, I, I left you in the dark. That's a hard one. I get that a lot. I'm good. There we go. I already took care of that. Right. So the I'm good, um, you could clarify that, right? You could say, oh, do you mean you already took care of that? You could like volunteer the objection. That's what I kind of do. You know, and yeah, I did. Oh, that's not a problem. How long ago did you get it? Remember for Carla too, specifically, this is your number one objection that you're going to get. Right. I already have it. I already took care of it. Um, and so being able to respond, memorize this one over even all the other ones is going to be critical with zero hesitation, not even zero hesitation, but with like interjecting almost. So Carla, I'm going to have you try that again to okay. give you a chance to respond and get through it. So Paul, go ahead and be our customer again. Hello, Paul. This is Paul. Who's calling? Hi, Paul. This is just Carla calling. Carla calling. I noticed you recently inquired to possibly look at some coverage for you and your family. And I just had a chance to, I just had a chance to get back to you to see if I could help. Uh, you know, I think I changed my mind on that. You changed your mind. Okay. So you already have, you already have, you already took care of that? Yeah, I I'm good now. Okay. Yeah. That's not a problem. How long ago did you get it? Uh, it was just about a week ago, actually. Okay, well, while, while I have you on the phone, would it be reasonable to offer you just one more quote, just to, just to make sure you were offered the best policy available? Okay, but how, how long is this going to take? It shouldn't take long. All right, let's you take do a question, right? If someone, how long is this going to take? You respond and you end with a question. You guys should all write this down because um, when you get people that ask you questions that aren't scripted and you're not prepared for it, you have to remember when you get a question, you have to respond and end with a question. So you get that control back. How long is it going to take? Oh, not long at all. Tell me what caused you to inquire for information in the first place immediately. Right. Um, when he said, I changed my mind, I probably would have been the one that I've been saying a couple of times here. That's not on here which is, oh, that's not a problem. It's just my job to get you the information that was requested and what you do with that information is entirely up to you. Would that be okay? Right. Um, what you said, does that, do you mean you already took care? Because he said, I changed my mind. I don't know if that meant he would have already taken care of that, but that was still a good way to respond because at least you got him to, to, to continue to talk back with you. Okay. 
Perfect. So even though everybody got to go once, we had a pretty big group today. It should be really, really helpful to hear what it sounds like when you don't, when you have all the marbles in your mouth and you don't do it the right way and how important it is to make sure that we are on point all the time. And that when we do do it the right way, how nice it sounds, how inviting it sounds for someone to want to talk to us. And we don't want to sound like disgruntled social workers, right? We want to sound curious. We want to sound inviting. We want to, you know, use hand gestures like Cody was doing. Use a curious look in your face because that's going to come out in your voice. Um, So hopefully we're all warmed up, ready to go. Um, Transfer agents are in. And I will see my new agents in the other Zoom room for day two of onboarding. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow in training. Thank you. Thank Thank you, you. Dana. Thank you.